Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Claire from The Wanderlust Way and in this video we are visiting the Fergus Parmanova Park in Mallorca which is one of the Balearic Islands off Spain. Um, so we're going to spend a full week here. It's an all-inclusive resort and we booked it through Jet2 Holidays. I'm going to put all the description and the price and everything at the very end of this video so please stay tuned but for now come along with us and we'll show you all around the resort and what we think of it. All right, thanks everyone. Welcome to the Fergus Club Parma Nova Park, situated in the popular destination of Calvia in Mallorca, Spain. After being taken over by the Fergus Club group and having undergone a comprehensive refurbishment, this year it was reopened in May 2023 and we visited in the October. Transfer time from the airport was approximately 30 minutes and although we arrived at the resort at 11am and before check-in, they kindly allowed us to check in straight away. Reception was manned 24-7 and we found everybody here to be incredibly helpful. After our swift check-in, it was time to see our room. So we are in room 2046, which is on the second floor, and they do have stairs, but well, they also have a lift as well. So if you've got any mobility problems, that shouldn't be an issue. So we've just landed at the Fergus Club, Parmanova Park. We've got a triple room. So there's three of us in this room. And uh, first impressions are it's very modern and clean. I'm really pleased with it. This is a bit weird having the uh, sink opposite the bathroom, not in the bathroom, but hey ho, when in Rome, lovely big mirror. Hello, We're all looking a bit knackered because we've been up since two o'clock this morning. Flew out from Leeds. Um, so here we go maybe king size well obviously you can see it's it was too big to push together and then we've got this young man with this it's actually quite cute because it's you don't know if you can see on the camera it's quite low down oh, almost like, japanese it's quite one from in between us. no it's not it's better than the one from in between us so this is um, a pull out bed and then i will go onto the balcony i've just put the suitcases on the balcony so i'm not impending the view of the room for you guys They're actually a really spacious balcony so plenty of room to hang towels and things and we've got a view of the mountains how nice is that and very green so this is the view i think it looks like there's a bit of a skate park going on down there very green and lush so we are back onto the and we've got two chairs table I'm coming back in here right then so we've got a little desk and a chair I really love these like little string lights and then in here we have da -da 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 -da, we have a fridge and they do provide a bottle of water when we checked in it was it already in the room so that's good decent size big enough for what we need it for because this place is all inclusive and then little bench television we'll let you know later what sort of channels is on that and then another little table and another full length mirror so we're not going to be fighting over mirrors and what's behind this curtain i wonder so behind this curtain we have some spare blankets and a pillow, shelves, the safe. I have just paid extra for the sh for the safe, but that's the safe. And I'll comment below how much the safe cost me. And then more shelves, some looks like three drawers. Yeah, three drawers there. Adi's already got himself settled in. Six coat hangers. Yeah. So let's have a look at the bathroom in better detail. So over here we've got a hand soap, a body milk, towels. Obviously, I don't know if pool towels are included yet. I'll find out. A um, couple of glasses, more towels. Yeah, and then I'll go and oh, and there's a hairdryer. Yeah. 
So I'll go and have a look in the bathroom for you. The bathroom is just across here. So this is the bathroom, standard sort of bathroom. We've got towels here, really nice sort of minimalistic tiling. Not dated or anything like that. So yeah, shower over the bath, which is good because Harry prefers to have a bath. He's like a lazy teenager, he doesn't like showering. And then we've got shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. Okay, so that is the room tour. I'll take you to the pool shortly, but for those that want to know how far the hotel is from the beach and all the local bars and shops, I'm going to show you now. Mallorca sits in the Mediterranean Sea and is the largest of the Balearic Islands, which are part of Spain. Flight time from the UK is around 2 hours 45 minutes, with the international airport being in Parma. The Fergus Club Parma Nova Park, as mentioned before, is around a 20 to 30 minute transfer from the airport. The closest beach is just a 5 minute walk away, and here you can find lots of bars, shops and restaurants. Bus transportation was cheap and easy, with a bus stop around 5 minute walks away from the hotel reception. We visited the stunning city of Parma one day, which was just a 20-30 minute bus ride away. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this video about the area and the surroundings, but if you do subscribe to the channel, I will do a new video soon to cover all that. But for now, let's head back to the pool and see what else the hotel has to offer. We found the resort to be perfect for families, young children and grown-ups that wanted just a laid-back vibe. It was really, really welcoming and we felt it was really safe as well. There was loads to do for children, which I'll go through shortly. There were two pools, starting with this being the main one. This first main pool, the rooms of the hotel sort of surrounded it, so it was like a central point. And besides the pool, there was the snack bar, which also doubled up as the bar for the evening. This part that we're standing in now is basically the central point where all the activities, pool, evening entertainment, um, the restaurant and the bar are all here. So it's not a resort that you're going to get lost in, which I think is great when you're with her family. And as most English people like to know, what was the sunbed situation like? I will show you. So it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm just going to show you for people that um, are going to be coming to stay here. Over here to the right, this is top tier level sunbeds. These are the ones that get taken earlier because these are the ones that stay in full sun for most of the day. Mine are over here. Aidy's managed to, this is for the first Please. time we've come, <laughs> we've managed to get some. But that's the very first time and it's our last day today. And then you. these are okay, but they only get sun for a part of the day. And then the ones at the back in there in the corner, we had those beginning of the holiday we didn't get some at all in them so top tier top tier level second tier bottom oh tier <laughs> oh dear <laughs> when you walk through the pool bar you will get to the other side which offers a children's pool and um, I'm not sure what it was but it was like some kind of bouncing ball that they could jump about on and there was plenty of sunbeds over here and these do, did seem to get quite a lot of sun during the day Behind this pool and behind this area, there is also a gymnasium, a small gymnasium, which I'm going to show you in a second. And there was ping pong, table tennis, that sort of thing over in the little hut that you'll see at the back. So this is the gym, which you can use completely free of charge to use during your stay. And I do believe that they host yoga classes and things like that. There's lots of other exercise things going on. I'm going to show you in a minute the entertainment program, which tells you everything, all the activities that there are to do during the day and during the evening here at this place, all included as part of the all inclusive plan. So as you can see by the programme on the wall, there are lots of activities taking place, um, including yoga, aqua aerobics, pilates, darts, and cocktail making, which we did on one particular day. That was quite fun. Hey, well done. So, and now, if it's good, you pick your finger up. If it's bad, pretend it's good and finger up, okay? Let's go. <laughs> For 
those that are a little too young for sangria making, there were kids clubs available for both teens and young children. Our boys were too old, but the amenities did look very good. And their kids club mascot, which is a purple horse called Pongus, can be found dotted around the resort. If you're lucky, he may even make a guest appearance. So watch out for him round the pool. <laughs> At the very front of the hotel they also have a small park for children and um, there's a swing slide things like that and also this is a no smoking hotel so if you are a smoker you'll need to stand at the front if you want to have a cigarette break. I'm sure by now you're wondering what the food's like here so let's jump straight in and cover that now. We stayed on an all-inclusive rate which allowed us access to the buffets during the set hours. Breakfast was served 7.30 to 10.30 lunch 12.30 to 2.30 and dinner 6 till 9pm. The dining area was beautifully decorated and clean. We had no issues getting a table despite being in a party of five and the one time we couldn't find a table the staff scurried around and had us quickly seated within five minutes. I felt the food here catered mostly for an English palate. Breakfast had sausages, beans, bacon, etc. And at this point, I'll just add that the hash browns, if you're into them, were absolutely to die for. Do try those. You then had all the usual breakfast suspects, pastries, cereals, continental, fresh eggs, etc. We didn't visit during lunch as the snack bar was sufficient for us. However, I was told it was similar to the evening. The evening buffet was generally the same type of offering each night. Pizzas and pastas sat at the end, followed usually by protein options. Um, we found there was turkey, fish, chicken in sauces, roast pork. And then this was followed by the carbs, potatoes, rice, chips. Um, and then on the very final set of the hot stands, you'll find the vegetables. There was generally a small selection of vegetables um, and if you didn't want vegetables there was also a very equipped salad bar with lots of different tasty things on there including some local variations and local cheeses and things like that, pickles, that sort of thing. All in all we found the food here to be very tasty, fresh and hot where necessary. I will agree with some reviews that it could be a little bit repetitive but for seven nights it was okay and there was plenty of opportunities to visit restaurants outside the hotel if you do want a change. We felt for the price we paid the food was very very good and there was never any empty tummies at our table. So as mentioned before the snack bar was another option for lunch so let's leave the buffet and we'll take a look around that next. Welcome to the snack bar at the hotel. Situated in the middle of the two pools, it's a great location if you want a quick and easy lunch. Here they have a small selection of things that are great for grab and go. Pizza, chips, burgers, hot dogs were usually available each day. Occasionally there might be a lasagna or a pasta bake added. And for those that are being healthy, um, they do have fresh fruit and salad here. That always looked lovely and was topped up. You can sit inside and eat or there are um, quite a few tables outside on the patio which overlook the pool or the main stage. They do keep everything really clean and tidy um, but I just want to add there are quite a lot of seagulls around here so we did funnily enough see a seagull grab a burger off a lady's plate one day and swope off with it so um, just keep your eye on your snacks if you do visit the snack pool and um, sit outside with your lunch. That's just a top tip. <laughs> Harry is going to do us a review on this absolutely delicious cookie. I think, pretty, I think it's safe to say they're pretty good because he's had about 12, as you can tell by the crumbs, crumbs on the table. They do provide plates, but this lad doesn't need a plate. They don't, they don't stay on there long enough. 
so I'm sure you can gather if you haven't by now this is also the area you'll sit in for your drinks during the day and in the evening the bar's just behind us now so we'll take a step into the bar and we'll go through that this is the main bar. It's also the area you will get all of your all-inclusive drinks, unless you're in the main restaurant. They had San Miguel beer on draft, branded soft drinks such as Coca-Cola and Fanta, which was all self-serve, apart from the beer, the beer wasn't self-serve. You were allowed to get two drinks at a time. That was purely because it was easier for the staff to keep the queues down. Um, a hot drink maker was available for teas and coffees if you want that. We found the alcohol to be adequate. The carva and the sangria were both really good, as were the local spirits. Uh, let's talk cocktails. I know that can be important. So they do a cocktail of the day, which is the only one that's available each day. We tried the pina colada and some of the flavoured mojitos. They were all, again, very, very nice. However, if you are a cocktail fan and you just politely ask the bar staff for the ingredients, they may make one for you that isn't on the list. For example, we asked for vodka, blue cacao and lemonade and they had no problems with that. So hey presto, we got a blue lagoon. They do have another bar on site which isn't part of the all-inclusive, but to be honest, we're from Yorkshire, so we didn't go in there. So now I think it's a good time to move on to the evening entertainment. We generally didn't watch a lot of the evening entertainment. There was a board outside that showed us what was on, um, the, but the mini disco tend to start at nine o'clock and then the entertainment was on after that. There were singers, there were dancers, there were things like that, um, but we generally headed back to the room. We are very, very boring people. But for the sake of this video, I'll share you a little clip. So guys, I think that's it. Before I go, I did promise at the beginning that I would let you know how much we paid for this holiday. So we booked it with Jet2 Holidays. We flew in from Leeds and the total price for two adults and one grumpy teenager was £1,411.90. This does it though include, it does include the in-flight meals going there and back because we are super greedy and pre-selected seats and the insurance for the three of us. So all in all, that was during the October half term. I think that was a really good deal. Um, when we arrived, there was also the city tax to pay, which you pay directly and you will be charged during, for how many nights you've stayed. This was €46.20 Euro for the seven nights. So €46.20 Euros and 20 for the seven nights. So hopefully that covers everything. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment below. Please like the video to support the channel. And um, if you'd like to come on more adventures with us, do subscribe to The Wanderlust Way. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Wanderlusting and have a great trip if you're coming out to Mallorca. Mm -hmm.